Hi, and welcome back to the monthly portfolio update. I hope you'll find the information in this video useful, but disclaimer, please note that this is not investing advice. It's just my portfolio as it stands on Thursday, February 1st, and it can change at any time without previous notification. Following an investment strategy without doing the work yourself is almost guaranteed to result in losses. So please be careful since it's your responsibility to do your own research before investing. Also, in the bonus section, we'll be discussing why you, and everyone else for that matter, should start investing today if you are not already doing so. Without out of the way, let's look at the first month of 2024. This month, I continue buying a little bit of crypto, Bitcoin and ETH mainly, for the sixth month in a row, in anticipation of the Bitcoin ETF, which was finally approved on January 11th. From now on, I have a six month self-imposed ban for purchasing any crypto since my asymmetric risk reward allocation is at a very comfortable 4% level, both from purchases and price increases. As I mentioned in the last video, one of my illiquid as our Romanian government bonds expired as well this month. And so I got my principal back. And that was the reason why I was buying Fidelis bonds in the last part of the year 2023. Also, because I expect for bond returns to go down drastically this year if and when the central banks start cutting rates. In terms of cash flow, I, did, I had the coupon payment that I mentioned just now uh, and I also got dividends from some of my companies Alibaba, Meta Estate Trust, Bered de Societe Generale and One United. So overall, my cash allocation increased significantly as well, we'll, as we'll see a little bit later on. This was, to be honest, a great way to start the new year. Wink, wink. Ending the first month of the year, the portfolio as of February 1st, 2024 looks like this. Please pause the video if you want to see each investment in detail. The overall portfolio return year to date, which is basically last month, is 0.62% plus living expenses. It was actually a lot better during the month, but last day the US stock market went down due to Fed Chairman Powell seemingly postponing the first rate cut and the GBTC Bitcoin sell-off, which pushed all crypto prices lower than the maximum reach right after the ETF was approved. However, I think that these two factors are temporary and will, in the end, turn out to be a positive wave that will hit my assets. That being said, the pyramid allocation portfolio this month looks something like this. You can see a slight increase in crypto from the buying and the slight price increase and a strong minus 4% decrease in bonds because the Tezaur issue expiration and the corresponding cash increase, which is actually from it. As mentioned last month, now we are at a comfortable 22.5% level. So we'll have a big decision to make in what to invest some of the money that we just got. Most likely it will be a little bit of bonds since the coupon should significantly decrease over 2024. So hopefully I can catch a short to medium term, meaning three to five years uh, of um, bonds and most likely i will also restart dollar cost averaging my stocks since the asymmetric risk reward bucket is full for now before going to the next section please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it really helps bringing this completely free information to more and more people i realized i was giving you some ideas on how to invest but never really explained the most important thing which is why you should start investing. First, let me tell you a short story about Thales of Miletus. I told you before that I love philosophy and find it helpful in investing, especially Stoicism. And while Thales was not one of the Stoics, he was an ancient Greek philosopher, mathematician, and overall cool guy that lived 2,500 years ago. A version of the story has Aristotle explained that Thales had reserved most olive oil presses in his region in advance at a steep discount and could rent them out at a high price when demand peaked. 
following his prediction of a particularly good harvest. And so, in one season, he became richer than anyone thought possible and never invested again afterwards. He did this because of a personal challenge put to him by an individual who had asked why, if Thales was an intelligent famous philosopher, he hadn't yet attained wealth. So, to motivate you, I ask our question of the day. If you are so good, why aren't you rich yet? I love this story for many reasons, but mainly it shows us that we are straying away from the path with graphs and fancy ratios and everything else, instead of focusing on our circle of competence. As Peter Lynch said, the small investor can beat large institutional investors if they focus on what they are good at and play the long-term game, instead of playing the professional investor short-term, quarterly or yearly game. So we saw that you can and always could invest profitably as an individual investor today. But why should you? Imagine playing Monopoly without never buying any assets or investments that generate income. Imagine just going around the board and collecting 200 bucks, then giving your money to the rich that have assets and trying to stay out of jail. This is how most people live their lives. Having zero investments sounds crazy and some people have small investments, but usually too little to be of any importance. If you invested a hundred bucks, it's still nothing. It has to be meaningful to you. I was guilty of that when I was a relatively well-paid employee since most of my money did not work for me. So start investing meaningful sums, meaningful to you, in companies you understand and be patient. You can start slow, learn, but you have to just start somewhere. Otherwise, you will never have a tail end in your financial life no matter how much money you make. So, in conclusion, can you invest? The answer is yes, if you keep it close to your circle of competence. Sometimes it might be something boring like pawns or ETFs even if you don't really like investing at all, but you should invest some of your money today. Why should you invest? Money is nothing more than freedom to do what you want. Investing is a noble pursuit in my opinion. If you are right, you are right. You don't have to answer to anyone but yourself. It doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman, you can speak your mind no matter what political, religious or even crazy views you have. Talking to all my flat earthers followers here. Wink wink. This was the idea that I want to talk to you about today. To conclude, I hope you start the new year thinking about becoming an investor if you aren't already. See you next month. Ciao.